Hey YouTube T9 here. Uh, purchased another a little upgrade for my AR15. Um, this one is a small purchase. However, I think it has a big impact for when it comes to using an AR15. Um, it's the ambidextrous safety selector, the combat ambidextrous safety selector from uh, Battle Arms. And they used to make, or they still do make, um, just the regular um, ambidextrous safety selector, aka badass. Um, this one is a little bit different. What I'm gonna do is show you guys in just a little bit what difference is between uh, the bad cast uh, compared to the older one. So, um, but we touch up on that just in a, just a little bit. So I'm gonna today. I'm just gonna do pretty much a little install video, step by step. Um, obviously, the reason why I purchased the selector is because I really liked having, would like to have a safety switch on the opposite side of this AR. Um, most most ARs come with just one-sided safety selector and um, being able to manipulate the safety with your trigger finger um, was very important to me so I thought this is a great purchase when it comes to that feature. Anyhow, like I said before, this is going to be a step-by-step. -step. The only tools I'm going to be using today are probably just a flathead screwdriver and that's to get the, um, the stock off here, the grip. And um, pretty much every other tool that's necessary is being provided in this little package here. It comes with an Allen wrench, a little bolt, a, a, a spring, and a detent spring, and uh, a little a detent. So we'll, we'll see all that in just a little bit. Anyway, so step by step. And I think the first step into uh, installing this would be to take the uh, upper, uh, separate the upper from the lower receiver, which I'm gonna do right now. Um, I'm just gonna use a pin real quick. A punch, I mean. There you go. I'm gonna flip that over. that was easy so I'm gonna put this away or not away but I'm gonna put this to the side real quick and I'll be working only on the lower receiver here um, should have taken that magazine out let's do that too all right so just to make it easy on me we'll work on just the lower here so what I'm gonna do is now it's gonna rearrange the camera just a little bit uh, zoom in, it's going to be a lot of close ups here and uh, do a step by step. Okay, first thing we want to do is get this uh, Mac pull um, grip off here, the stock. And what I'm going to do is just take the, uh, the bottom off here, the little cap that's on there. There you go. And I don't know how I ended up with the uh, flat head screw inside here, but I did. So I'm going to just back that out. And when we back this out, we want to care be careful here that um, we hold this on to the lower receiver because there is a detent and a detent spring right around in this area or on the other side. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see that in a second. We don't want that spring to fly out. So hold that. Hold that grip down while you back that screw up. You might have a Phillips in there, I mean a Phillips screw. There you go, that should be it. Um, so let's slowly see here. And as you can tell, there is that spring and that detent. Or maybe just a little more here. Okay, so that came off just fine. Here's the screw. I lay that aside. Here are the two springs. One is for the uh, for the pin 
to hold the pin in place and this this one is for to keep the uh, the safety switch detent inside so um, we'll put this aside make sure you don't lose this and uh, we go on to step number two okay step number two is obviously removing the uh, old safety switch and I'm gonna slowly pick this up here um, now that we got the stock off the grip um, all these pins are gonna fall out so you want to be very careful here that you're not gonna lose anything so um, I'm just gonna pull that the pin off that keeps together the upper and the lower and put that aside um, this should fall right out the safe the old the old switch should fall right out here and I pull that out and, and lay that aside there should be some a couple of detents in here one on this side for the grip uh, for the takedown pin and one for the safety step this one is the old one for the uh, safety selector which I'm just gonna use the new one that's provided and there should be another one in here as you as you can if you can see that uh, and that's for the um, the grip and if it's not if it's not coming out I'm just gonna leave it okay so the old safety uh, selector is removed and now we'll move on to the new one um, let me lay it on this side up okay the new one and I told you guys I was going to talk a little bit about what the difference between the uh, the bad cast and the older one really the only difference is the way um, and wow it already has two screws inside here and these are just spare I guess so I'm just gonna be using the ones that are already inside I'll put this aside as well so anyways um, the only difference is the way the selector switches attached to the, um, the the bolt or pin you might call it that goes through the lower receiver and um, the difference is that these are dovetailed and if I could zoom into that instead of just resting on top of the um, on top of the uh, bolt they kind of slide on top and what it does is it relieves stress of the screw and also in case which probably most likely is not never going to happen if the screw ever backs out or on this side and falls off it, it, you will be, still be able to use the safety switch without a screw inside um, I had people I've heard I've read about people trying it actually not even putting a screw in and just you know putting a few rounds down range and it worked actually um, so it's it's something that's just an added security um, do you need it are you gonna spend the extra what $15 to um, to utilize the new the bad cast um, it's up to you I decided to go for it and that's just something I wanted to do so anyways I'm gonna take those screws off and uh, move on right to uh, step number three okay step, step number three I'm gonna insert the uh, the new uh, safety lever and the bolt um, what I want to show you guys is one more time here uh, you can really see it well here that the difference is obviously it doesn't rest on top it slides right over like such um, all right so what we want to do is before we install this bolt that goes through the lower receiver I want to make sure we see where the um, th this this groove is that groove that's where the uh, the pin will rest on and we want to make sure that's on the right side so um, looking at the lower receiver here obviously the bolt the, the spring and the detent hole is on this side here so we want to make sure that that groove is on that side so we'll push it in like such okay once that is inside um, I'm gonna go ahead and as a matter of fact you know I'm going what I'm gonna do is before I do this I'm gonna put some gun loop on, to, on, on the outside here and just kind of spread it around a 
and uh, that's going to make installation a little bit easier, especially when sliding these on. Okay, so once again, I'm going to put that in. Make sure it's the right way. Okay. And uh, next thing is going to be sliding the, um, the lever on. Obviously, the long one I want on this side here. That is definitely not the right way. Like such. And then I decide to go for the, uh, the shorter ones. The shorter one. They have different options. They have thin, short, um, you name it. They have quite a few different options. So you can set up your safety switches to, to just after your liking. Um, which I'm going to slide on. And it goes right on. So now we have these on. Uh, now we're going to move on to the next step, which is going to be putting the screws in, which I want to lay, set this down really slowly so it doesn't fall out. And that's going to be putting the screws in. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. And take my provided Allen wrench and kind of start, start it slowly. Anytime I put a, any sort of screw in, I usually just turn it the, uh, uh, to the left until I hear a little click and then turn it right so I know that the uh, screw is catching it's not cross threading so I'm gonna do this very slowly and before I tighten that all, up all the way I'm gonna flip that lower receiver over and get started on this side Put that screw on top of that. Oops, and of course it went over the wrong side there. There, this should be the right side. I'll make sure it's on the right side. It was a little bit too far over. Okay, so let me tighten this up. What I generally do is just hand tighten it. That should be plenty. And turn it over again. There you go, so that's tight. There's a little wiggle room, but just it's because the detent spring is not in there. I'll set this down, zoom out the camera just a touch. Oops, wrong way. Okay, time to move to step number four. I, is it four? I don't even know yet, but um, time to move on to the next step. Okay, the next step would be um, obviously installing the uh, grip again and making sure that all the detent springs detents are in the correct location um, I'll start off with the one for the safety um, which is right here that's the bigger one right there I'll drop that in like such um, this one is already inside I'm gonna use the new spring just for hells of it set that on there slightly like such and here is the spring for the takedown pin 
Oops, a little bit too far. So it came out the other end. I'll put this pin in first. There you go. So the, the two detents and the springs are inside. Um, now it's time to slowly put that grip back on. I want to make sure that because there's some holes inside here that they line up, line up with these springs. Okay, now that I finally lined this up right, um, you guys can see the springs in there like they were used to. Hold on and put tension on there. Just keep that on the tension on, and uh, get your bolt again. And um, it's going to be a tough one since this is uh, a flathead. But I'll see if I can somehow get lucky and drop that in. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I got it started. And you gotta make you want to make sure that that screw is straight and that's not cross threading, okay? So I'm gonna finish this up and tighten this down. tight not too loose and there we go that safety selector switch is on I'll give it a little test it's working works both sides Okay. And the reason is the reason why I chose the shorter one is because I didn't want it to to get in the way of uh, indexing and that sort of stuff. It's just it's it's just right. It's just right, and you can still kind of manipulate it with your trigger finger. All right, I'm gonna set this down. Obviously, the next step would be to uh, put the cap on the bottom of the grip and put the uh, upper and lower receiver together and I'll be back once that's done for final final comments there alright here's the final product I put the uh, upper with the lower receiver here um, looks good feels good too um, here's the uh, the shorter selector switch here's the longer one and uh, let's do a quick um, function check here so, um, it's on safe trigger shouldn't be be able to pull it back on semi all right one more time oh, there I hit the camera on safe shouldn't work semi works okay and that was the installation of the uh, Battle Arms Combat Ambidextrous Safety Selector. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.